Now at noon, today marks 17 years since the September 11th attacks in the U.S. Families of the victims gathered at memorial services to honor the lives of those lost in New York, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. CBS 4's Meg Oliver has more. The nation paused in a moment of silence to mark the 17th anniversary of September 11th, the worst terrorist attack on the United States. In New York, victims' family members placed flowers at the Memorial Plaza in Lower Manhattan. And to my late wife, Jennifer Lynn Howley. Many fought back tears while remembering their loved ones killed when hijacked planes struck the Twin Towers. 17 years later, how are you reflecting on 9-11? Yes, it's, it's still very raw. It is, uh, it's very sad. Out of the first responders who raced to ground zero to help, more than 350 have died from 9-11 related illnesses and more than 7,500 have been diagnosed with cancer. President Trump participated in a commemoration ceremony for the victims of Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. He says the country must never forget. This memorial is now a message to the world. America will never, ever submit to tyranny. Survivors and family members later read that the memorial site in Arlington, Virginia, 184 people died when a hijacked plane slammed into the Pentagon. We mourn with those who mourn and grieve with those who grieve. But we do not grieve like those who have no hope. Officials say nearly $4 billion has been set aside to help those who became sick or died due to the collapse of the Twin Towers. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York.